Hi there, welcome to another CTrader tutorial. Today I'm going to show you some of the new features that have been published for CTrader version 4.1. When I say published, it's actually just gone into beta, so it's not actually live at the moment, but by the time you watch this video, it could be uh, released to all the brokers. So version 4.1 for CTrader desktop, so this is not mobile. Um, it's a minor release and it gives you the ability to actually fund your account using a cryptocurrency. So I'm going to go, and th go through the uh, platform and show you um, the new features that they've added to this platform and show you how to fund your account. Now, um, on the screen here, what I'm going to show you is actually um, how to actually fund the account with a demo account. With the broker, it would be very different. You'd have to go to your broker and create an account with your broker. And you'd have to fund that account with a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin through that broker. So I'm going to show you how to do it um, at the moment through the demo account. So you go to the top right and you select create new trading account. In here, you go to demo account. Now, if you click on this link here, you can see you've got all your major currencies, uh, but you've also got two more at the bottom, which is Bitcoin and Ethereum. So you can choose either one of these. I'm going to choose Bitcoin. Now, the minimum amount you can choose uh, on the demo account at the moment is 1,000. So that's 1,000 Bitcoins. You would never actually put in 1,000 Bitcoins. It's something like 37 million pounds. But for this demo purposes, I think they've just put, um, they've left the values as default. I'm sure that later on, when it comes out of beta, they'll have much lower value, more realistic sort of um, cryptocurrency values that you can use to actually load up. So I'm going to put in the minimum value, which is 1000. I'm going to create the demo account. OK, it's now loaded in the demo account. Now you can see the top right again. You can actually see it's got the demo account. It's got the BTC value. Um, if you look at the bottom, um, I'm actually going to change this because originally when you first use this this is what you'll see at the bottom of the screen you'll see uh, the balance in bitcoin you'll see the equity in bitcoin the margin used the free margin and the other values these are all shown in bitcoin values so i'm just going to go to an account that i've opened up before into some hidden accounts i'm just going to try and find one um there it is i put a trade on earlier so this is a trade that i just put in earlier um, on a funded bitcoin account and you can see on here it's actually got the trade values here, the gross in BTC and the net in BTC. Now, what they've done, what CTrader have done, they've actually allowed you to look at the indicative value, so the comparative value in dollars. Now, to do that, you just right click. You can either do it on the actual uh, trade history, on the position, and you can choose gross and net in dollars. So that shows you the equivalent now for this trade. Instead of looking at point and five, you know, five zeros, two one zero you can actually see what the actual trade is in dollars. So it gives you some idea um, what you're actually trading. Now at the bottom of the um, screen here, where you've got the um, position, uh, sorry, you've got your account balance. If you right click your mouse, you can now look at the account balance and your account is in Bitcoin or this one is in Bitcoin. You can also change it to the indicative currency, which is in um, dollars. Oops, it just changed automatically there. Go back now which is in dollars. So you can see this account has got $39 million. It's actually gone up since the last time I looked as Bitcoin has obviously boomed in the last few days. It's gone from 37 million to 39 million. So if you had that much money in your account, you'd have made that. So this just shows all the values in dollars. So you can compare it in dollars and then you can go back to show it in account currency. It's as simple as that. You can also have an expanded view. So you've got your expanded view here that you can see on the bottom and you can also change it to the indicative currency value. Okay. So if you wanted to actually open up a Bitcoin trade, you right click on the chart, create new order. It's the same as a, a normal market order. You can choose lots um, and then you can actually choose how much. If you hover your mouse over this, you can see um, what your lot is, what 0.01 lot is or what a pip value is. So you've got all the values here for trade buy and sell it and margins. So this allows you to, as I said, fund your account using cryptocurrency. Um, it does need to be the minimum amount does need to be dropped away from 1,000 to something much, much, much lower that most people would actually fund it with Bitcoin. And um, and that's it, really. That's just an update for 4.1. I don't think there's any other features they've added for 4.1. Um, I'll just quickly show you if you did want to show a uh, change uh, when you create a new market order. If you're seeing lots, you can easily go to the settings window and it, you can go to the assets and you can change it to units. So you can actually see this in units. So when you create a market order, I've already created a, a video for this already, but if you want to see the volume in something different, you can do that. OK, that's the video. Um, if you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps our, our ratings. And if you want to know who we are, we're clickalgo.com. 
we sell um, trading software for the CTrader trading platform, and we've got products that you can use. We've also got a programming service. So if you want to convert your um, indicators or automated trading systems um, in, to be used with CTrader, you can just contact us and we'll help you there. Okay, thank you very much.